Hey Facebook, this is Shantae Parker from the Parker Property Team and Exit Bennett Realty. I'm coming live to you from the Exit Mid-Atlantic Regional Agent Awards, which is also called Agent Retreat Day. This time we're in Kent Island. Um, never been here before, it's in Maryland. It's right above or across the Bay Bridge. I was scared to death coming here because I am super duper afraid of bridges that I literally like my heart starts rumbling when I'm on a bridge. Um, but yeah, so today is the agent day and I've come to these things. I've been with Exit Realty now for 10 years. Um, when I first started with Exit Realty, I was a teacher, um, full-time kindergarten teacher. and. I became a realtor back in 2005. So this is actually my 11th year as a realtor. And I've been a full-time realtor since 2009. So seven years, I've been a full-time realtor. This is my only job besides being a mom. This is what I do. So I wanted to go live today because I'm just super excited because I just came out of the awards and um, I was driving here, I knew I won an award, but they don't tell you what you win um, until you get here. So I won um, a production award where they take your complete volume and they rank you. And so congratulations me, yay! I doubled my production this year um, over last year, which is a significant accomplishment um, because nothing is worse than um, insanity and insanity is doing the same thing expecting a different result so I've had this glass ceiling over my head for quite some time where I've been doing really well as a realtor um, really no complaints except for I didn't feel like I was living up to my potential I didn't feel like I felt like I was doing a good job and I felt like I was working really hard but I I always felt like there was more there was I had more to give I had more people to serve and I just felt like I could do better and these things these awards banquets really lets gives you um, a look in a mirror because you get to be around your peers um, some of which are doing way better than you so first I want to congratulate one of my dear friends whose name is Carlos Lancaster he created his own category they started a hundred thousand and this is product this is gross earnings so if you earned a hundred thousand dollars you get a pen if you earn two hundred thousand you get a pen three hundred and so forth we've never gone over five hundred thousand and this year there was a six hundred thousand dollar pen winner and that was Corey Lancaster so congratulations Corey I'm really proud of you I know how hard you work we have shared ideas and we have been friends for a really long time the whole time I've been in exit we've been friends because you opened your office sort of around the time when I started so I'm very very proud of you but I just want to say that it was very motivational to be here today because you see so many people who look just like you who are achieving feats beyond feats that that's not even imaginable because when people think of real estate do they necessarily think that real estate is a real job do they think that people can make goo gobs of money um, and take better care of their family live a better life um, live the life of their dreams travel buy the things that you want do you really think that you can get that from uh, being an independent contractor as a realtor a lot of people don't in fact I was one of those people I was a full-time teacher for 18 years a kindergarten teacher and I love telling my story because it's so weird that I ended up here <laughs> and this is what I do because I am a 18 year veteran teacher I'm a eternal college student who has a uh, three degrees under her belt one undergraduate and three graduate degrees um, destined for the field of education stayed in education really much longer than I should have because I knew early on that it wasn't for me but I continued to do it because it was a job and I got a paycheck every two weeks and I had a child that I needed to feed or bills that I needed to pay and so I kept doing it and I kept doing the same old thing making the same old salary because everybody knows if you're a teacher your salary doesn't go up that much no matter how many degrees you have so I would have side jobs I, would, I worked at Victoria's Secrets I had a tutoring business I did 
all types of side jobs to always try to make more and do more but I was running myself ragged and I just would see people in fact my first real estate agent whose name is David Clark he's not on social media my favorite real estate agent back then he was my realtor on a few transactions he always would encourage me you should become a realtor and I would be like ah, that ain't no real job is what I was actually saying because I didn't believe it was like what do you actually do all day and how much money do you really make doing that is were my questions and and also I was fearful like well how can I do that and make money and so he would always encourage me and I never really listened until one day I'm a shout out another person um, Crystal she's a friend of mine Crystal Atkins who works for Remax Specialist I told her this before but I just want to tell the story one day I was in the process of getting a divorce I had a small baby at home I was working full-time as a teacher with a classroom full of kids in addition to the 30 kids I had I had a part-time job so I was never home and I was broke on top of that broke broke as a joke and this was in 2005 and so I'm in Safeway at Starbucks of all places scraping up changing my car to get me some coffee because I had a stressful day and I needed something to pick me up and it was Starbucks so literally I scraped up four dollars and some coins and I went to Starbucks to get me a tall coffee drink and behind me in line was this mover and shaker wheeler and dealer Crystal Atkins who was basically doing a real estate transaction but I didn't know what she was doing but it sounded very important what she was doing she pulled up in her white 500 series Mercedes and she got out the car looking all fly and and she was on the phone and she just looked so busy and I just was like wow oh my god and so and actually I didn't even see her face she just I saw this woman get out the car and she came behind me in line and she's willing and dealing on the phone and finally I, I'm like that voice I turn around and I'm like oh my god it's crystal and I'm like what do you do and she said I'm a real estate agent and it hit me that is what I'm supposed to do that is what I'm supposed to do and so I immediately left out of there like almost spilled my coffee running out of there I picked up the phone and I called David who was the guy my first realtor who always encouraged me and said you were right it's time for me to do it and that was 2005 I went and took the class that month my first client was my cousin who's on this call, Aaliyah Bland, now Epps. She called me and she said, I don't care if you just became a realtor, but I need you to sell my house because somebody just got carjacked outside my house. I need you to sell my house. And I said, okay. I was scared, I was nervous, but she trusted in me and she thought that I would do a good job and she encouraged me and so I did. I sold her house, which was in Sulin, Maryland, and she bought a new house, brand new construction house, um, really expensive house out in um, Severn, Maryland. So my first month selling real estate, I, I did two transactions with totaled over, I think it was about $900,000 in gross sale, but the commission was about that I earned, not what I actually got in my pocket, but what I earned was over $23,000 in one month. Who does that? What career does that? I could not believe that I made that much money as a real estate agent. And so, considering that my salary as a teacher was seventy-seven thousand, and my take-home probably was twenty-three hundred a month at best, twenty-three hundred—that's all I was getting as a teacher. Although I made seventy-seven thousand, and so from that moment on, I'm like, this is what I'm supposed to do. Not only do I really enjoy it, but I mean, it's endless what you can make in this. There's no ceiling. There's no. There's no one telling you what you can do and how much you can do. So I'm just going to do my best. I'm just going to dive all the way in. And that's when I met Exit Realty. I came to Exit Realty um, in 2005. The brokerage was right down the street from my school. Remember, I was a kindergarten teacher. And the broker touched my hand and he said, do you believe that you can make a million dollars selling real estate? And I said, I do believe that. And he said, well, I'm gonna help you. And he touched my hand and he gave me a big hug. And it was a very small company at the time because Exit actually was just beginning at the time. Um, and I believed him though, I trusted him and I believed he would help me. In my very first year selling real estate, I made $100,000. So I made more selling real estate in those few months because they only calculate from July of one year to June 30th of the next year. So I started in December and to June of the next year, I made $100,000 in seven months. And first of all, you couldn't tell me nothing. I'm so excited that I did that 
because I never expected myself to do that. And and so to do the unexpected is always so inspirational, but I did it. I was so proud of myself and I'm like, okay, now what I do? So I continue to work and rock it out um, and soar and really focus on it. I literally would go to work as a kindergarten teacher, leave at lunchtime, go to the office, come back when my kids go to PE, go back to the office, come back, go back to the office after school, then pick up my baby, then go home and do more real estate. Like I literally felt like I had two full-time jobs. And I and I started to say that I had more, that real estate was my full-time job and teaching was my part-time job. Now don't think people that I was a bad teacher because I wasn't, because I was very smart, very loving and warm and nurturing. I was a really good teacher and I was very passionate about teaching because I love children. But it was something about this real estate thing that really, really took me you know, to a whole nother level of passion, of of motivation, of zest for life, of, for living, and to be able to go from broke and not having nothing, um, to being able to not worry about paying my bills, to being able to travel and do the things that I like to do. It was an amazing feeling. It was definitely euphoric, and it was something that I wanted to continue to have forever until I hit this place where I was... Uh, I was at an open house and this lady walked in and she wanted to buy it. I was like, oh my God, what do I do? So she buys the house. When the settlement happened, I had to take off work because the settlement was during the day. You can't tell your client you can't be at settlement. So my principal said I couldn't go. And I was just like, what do you mean? I have to leave. She said, no, you can't go. You have to be here with the, at work. And I'm like, oh my God. So I took off anyway, leave without pay. But that particular day was payday. And I got paid on my settlement. So I went to school, got my check, and I sat in my car and I almost cried because I looked at my real estate check. The lady walked into the open house. She got the house. I did nothing to get that client. It was literally, I worked with that lady for a total of four hours and I made $9,700 off that one transaction. My teaching job, I had worked for 80 hours, two weeks. My check was $2,300. And I said, what is the question? What? Why are you questioning yourself? Why are you fearful? What are you afraid of? What's the worst that can happen? You fail? If you fail, what's going to happen? You just get back up and try it again. And so from that moment on, I kept trying to come up with my exit strategy from teaching. But it was the biweekly paycheck that kept me there because I was afraid. I was really afraid that I couldn't do it. I was afraid, afraid that I might fail. I was afraid of what people might say. I was afraid that I had all of these student loans and I had paid all of this money for education. And... Now I'm going to go be a realtor? You know, like, wait, like, that makes no sense. And so I talked to a couple of friends. I talked to my mom. And my mom is the most encouraging person ever. She said, I think you can do it. And I think you're never going to know until you actually do it. And lo and behold, my dad got sick um, in 2009. In 2009, so it's not an accident that 2009 was the year that I became a full-time agent because that's the time that my dad was diagnosed with brain cancer and he uh, later died, but as we all know. So I decided that I was gonna quit my job and I was gonna be a full-time realtor and I was gonna be available to my family and I was gonna vow to put every single thing that I had into selling real estate. And I said to myself, if you're gonna do this, you're gonna have to replace that teaching income with real estate income. Now, if you are doing, if you're making a hundred thousand dollars selling real estate off basically like four hours a day, imagine if you gave it eight. Imagine if you gave your all. Imagine if you just ran your own business. It would be no ceiling above your head. You could do whatever you wanted to do. And so I did that. And so I went and I actually met with my my current broker, who is Gregory Bennett. He's phenomenal. He's he's one of the best people that I know. Not only is he smart, not only is he an excellent business person. He is a dynamic realtor and he's historically broken records and sold a million dollars and I mean earned a million dollars selling real estate year after year after year. So what a better mentor for me if that's my goal, my aspiration to become a millionaire realtor, why not get with him? So he he touched my hand again and he said, you know, what can I do to help you? And I told him, I want to make a million dollars selling real estate. He said, well, you can definitely do that with me and I'm going to help you every step of the way. And so I joined his office and I watched him every single day. He was my mentor. He was my coach. I watched him every single day. I came to the office. I did exactly what he told me to do. Because real estate is not rocket science. It's actually a reinvented job that if you do what the successful people do, you'll be successful. It's like no thinking involved. You just do what the successful people do. And he was successful. He had a proven track record. So I followed. So every day. So I tell you from January 1st of that year to April 1st 
which is the first quarter, my goal was to hit, and he's always talking about goals and making goals and following your goals and projecting your goals and making sure you affirm your goals every day. And I did that. And so from January to April, I made $100,000. Didn't take me a year. Didn't take me six months. I did it in four months. I did it in the first quarter of the year. Which in our company, when you make a hundred thousand, your commission goes up. So that means now I'm going to get more of my money because I've reached a hundred thousand. And exit, you get ninety ten once you reach a hundred thousand. So that was a fantastic year. I sold more brand new houses than I ever sold in my whole life. And so I just kept wanting to do better and push. And exit is a company that has great trainers. I've had wonderful trainers, wonderful coaches, wonderful mentors. Johnny Lowy is one of my favorite favorite coaches. He has coached me personally. He, I've been to all of his trainings that he comes to our area. Um, Alex Zinnick was one of my coaches. Jody Keats was one of my coaches. Bill Nasby, who teaches door knocking, was one of my coaches. Um, Jeff Lobb, I love him. He's our technology guru. He, I still talk to him. He's a personal friend of a company where people become your friends and they, they cheer you on and they want you to succeed. And those people have really sown seeds into my life they have really made helped me make my life better they've believed in me they've pushed me they have not allowed me to stop and give up on myself they have been examples to me they have done over and beyond the call of duty when they didn't have to they just are very very good people and you need to be in a place where you can flourish because you have a good network of people around you so if they say it takes a village to raise a child i think that is actually can be applied here it, it definitely takes a village of support to help you be as successful that you can possibly be and that's what i have at my office at exit bennett realty i love the camaraderie i love my broker owner gregory bennett i love how uh, transparent he is and how encouraging he is and motivating he is and i love that he's a living example of what i can be and do every friday he goes to lunch with a millionaire you know why he does that because he wants to get ideas and they're not in real estate they're millionaires in their own right and he gets he takes notes and he he reads books and he studies them and he he talks to them and he networks that's what you have to do if you want to excel in your life if you want to take it up a notch if you want to take it up five notches you got to do it. You got to be around like-minded people. As a man thinking, so is he. So you have to think you are a millionaire already before you even work towards it. So I was inspired today to do this Facebook Live. I wanted to share my story. I wanted to share the exit story. I wanted to share that real estate is a fantastic career, but it's not for everybody. It's not a job that everybody can do. One, you have to be very passionate about it. You have to love people. You have to be a people person. You have to be highly motivated and able to handle stress because it's not an easy job at all. In fact, I have headaches and stomach aches, neck aches, back aches all the time, but I'm, I'm, I've, I'm able to deal with the, the, the stress and multitask this thing. Um, you have to surround yourself with mentors and coaches. You have to be teachable and coachable. You have to be able to take direction and follow the lead of others. You have to be able to pull others as you climb and be able to give back to others because it helps you become a more great, a more successful and a greater person because the gift of giving is you know, it, it, it feels good, but it's actually just a wonderful thing and it helps you continue to rise. Um, and you got to like helping people. You got to love people and you got to like helping people. And it's no greater gift to me than to help my client move from, make a decision to move from one destination to another. That's what to me exit means. I My job is to help somebody safely move through a passageway from this destination to the next destination whether they're moving up to a bigger house whether they're moving down to a less expensive house whether they're relocating to a different state i take it personal it's my job which means that customer service is really important to me i take pride in what i do i maintain long-term relationships with my clients because i love every last one of them and when the deal is over i have this terrible sense of mourning because I'm so used to talking to my clients every day in the transaction that I feel really sad when it's over and so I try my very best to keep in contact with them and and that's one of my vows this year as I'm you know moving forward in my life and my career to really deepen my relationships with people especially those that I serve especially my family members and friends I just want to have hone in on focusing in on deeper relationships and so if i have a relationship with you it's my goal to deepen that relationship i want 
it to be the best relationship it can possibly be no matter what type of relationship it is whether we're colleagues friends sisters sorors college mates classmates whatever we are i want it to be a better relationship so i thank you for the people who tuned in shout out to all the people that uh have given me hearts and likes i really really appreciate it i love you guys thank you exit realty for making me and helping me become the real estate agent that i am thank you to all my coaches thank you to my broker thank you to my mentors i forgot to mention koi banks you know you rock koi banks you have inspired me you've been a great friend you've also been a coach and a mentor to me as well i'm always amazed by you and surprised not even surprised because i expect you to do great things and I'm surprised at how you just still in it. You're still in the game. Your head is in the game. You stay focused. You accomplish the things you want to accomplish. And that's contagious. And I love that. And I appreciate that Appreciate that. even though we're not in the same company. We're not in the same office. We're still in the same company. You continue to support me and cheer lead for me as I do for you. And I love that. And I appreciate you. And all my other realtor friends, I love all of you. And thank you for helping me, encouraging me. And thank you for supporting me and all my clients. Thank you. Because without you, I couldn't do any of this. Any of it at all. Thank you for referring your family members, friends to me and coworkers. Thank you for my friends who also use me as a business person. Like I just sold a house with my friend Lakeisha. You know how much I love you, girl. Thank you so much for referring people to me, Lakeisha. Thank you for supporting me and trusting me to be your realtor. Thank you for acknowledging that. I love what I do and, and you appreciate it and I, and I know you did. Thank you so much. So that's it. Thanks guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a fantastic day. My day has been beyond thoughts. <laughs> Thank you so much. Bye. Bye.